Hello guys, and welcome to another one of my videos. And in this video, we're going to be talking about arrays and slices in Rust. So, what is an array? An array is a collection of related data, or basically, in Rust, an array is a collection of the same type of data. And um, the difference between an array and a list, as you might know it, or a vector, is that an array is actually of a fixed length. And then when you create and initialize an array with a fixed length, the array cannot grow or shrink in size. The length of the array or the size of the array is always going to be fixed. Another property of an array that you might be interested in is that an array actually only contains the same kind of data. Remember that we could have a tuple where we could have basically uh, an int, um, this, and also a car that basically looks like this, and everything's gonna be fine. Uh, and in the, I think in the um, variables video, I forgot to mention that it's actually uh, a, car, a char data type where you can actually have something like this. I forgot about that, but yeah, so that's that. Um, so in the um, for arrays, this is how you're gonna create or declare an array in Rust. So you're gonna have let array uh, if I can spell it correctly um, we're gonna have an array look something like this so I'm gonna say an array of u32 so I'm saying that I want an array of unsigned integers an array of 32 bit unsigned integers how many do I need I need 300 of them now I want to print them out and I have array uh, sorry array. now this is not gonna work you may be wondering why it's not going to work. The reason it's not going to work is because this, this is um, an, un an uninitialized array. So if you try to run it, it should throw an error because the compiler is really, really mad. So you see here, um, uh, okay, it says first of all, format display is not, in, is not implemented for this. So we could actually get rid of this error by putting the debug uh, format whatever but we still get another error because it says use of possibly uninitialized array so how do we initialize this array well we basically have to initialize the array 300 times so how do we do this well the easiest way to do this is to actually initialize everything to 0 300 and what this is going to do is that it's going to initialize this array 300 times well let's just run it and see that it actually works and as you can see it prints out the entire array uh, of 300 elements so i'm going to change this to 10 and uh, i'm going to change this to 10. now another way we can actually initialize the same kind of array is um, to initialize it by hand so for example i could have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Now the reason Rust requires that we initialize the array before we use it is that oh this is actually 11 uh, this is 10 so I can actually run this and uh, should work without issues so 0 to 9 and we have 10 elements inside of our array so the reason Rust actually requires that we initialize our array is because variables in Rust can only be used before um, we initialize it I mean variables in Rust can only be used after we have initialized the variable so we cannot use a variable in rust without initializing it first so what this means is that i can actually um declare the variable like this but i have to initialize this, uh, i have to initialize this variable at some point before i get to this array so for example i could do it here and, uh, and i could run the program and it's going to work just fine However, let's see what happens if we try to create this, if we try to use this array uh, again. And as you can see, it gives me an error. Now you might be wondering what the hell is going on here. So maybe I just wanted to switch up the values a little bit and, um, you know, this is actually a bad thing to do in any programming language. So why the hell is this giving me an error? Now the problem with this is that this is an immutable variable, okay? so variables are immutable by default in rust like i said and um, so if you're trying to change if you're trying to assign this value that has already been initialized 
You try to initialize it again, Rust is going to cry and I'll be like, no, I cannot let that happen, I'm sorry. It's just crazy with Rust, the way, you know, all of these things are, but it actually means well. So, if you check the error message here, it says, cannot assign twice to a mutable variable array. So, what can we do to fix it? Well, we just have to type mute again. We're going to talk about variable declaration, mutability, and references, and, uh, you know, things like that in subsequent videos. But in this video, uh, we're just going to, uh, you know, go along with this for now. And we have another error. Let's just take a look at it. And it says, um, this is actually a warning. It says, uh, value assigned to array is never read. So what this means is that um, the value we assign to this variable, we have not actually used it. So in order to get rid of that, we could just maybe print the line here, saying um, array, and that should get rid of this error, I think. And let's try this again. Oh, we need to use that um, debug thing. And now this should be fine. As you can see, a got printed first, and then the array got printed second. So what this the reason this was crying at us was because you know we just initialized we assigned a value to this and then we're assigning values to this again and that's why it was just crazy and I was like nah I can't let this happen. Now another thing about mutability you need to understand is that the mutability actually extends to the values inside of the array. So for example, if I were to create um, a loop. Um, let's just say 0 to 10 and I do array at i equals to i this actually is not going to work um, as e32 this is not going to work now why is this crying at us again I mean this is in other programming languages this is actually perfect things to do you know you create an array you want to put something inside of it and that's exactly what I'm doing here and you might be wondering why I need to cast this to as at, uh, as U32. And the reason is because by default, I in itself is actually U size. You know, you remember the U size from the um, fundamental data types video? Yeah. So I have to cast this to U32 in order for it to become a U32 that I can put inside of the array. But then this is actually still crying. It says, you see, cannot assign to array as array is not declared as mute a bool so how can i fix this well i have to go back and put that mute thing here so even for an array you have to make your variables mutable in the next video we're going to talk a little bit more about variables so you can understand what mutable are uh, mutable references and a bunch of other things like that so as you can see here we have if we run the program now the code should work but this is actually i'm just going to go from 20 to 30 so that the values can actually change and run it run the program and so you can see what is this oh yeah this is going to be so much of a disaster because um i'm going from 20 to 30 and i'm trying to access array at the index 20 and this is just from 0 to 9 uh, because we only have 10 values inside of our array our array is accessed our array axes are actually zero base, so this is index 0, 1, 2 to index 9. And so here you can see it says trade main panicked at index out of bounds. The length is 10, but the index is 20. So I'm going to go back here and change this to 0 to 10. And then I'm going to say i times 50 something. Yep. And I have to put this inside of parentheses, I guess. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I print something um, that's different from what, what we already have here. And as you can see, that the values change appropriately inside. So if we if we want to manipulate whatever variable we're actually declaring, we have to declare it as mutable uh, before we can actually do anything with it. If you forget to declare value as mutable, then it's not going to work. Um, so that's basically something you have to remember about the... Uh, about the Rust compiler, it's not gonna work if you actually don't put a mutable inside of it. Another thing is, um, if you want to access elements of an array, you see we have the array at i, okay, um, and also here you can see that this is how we access, um, this is how we cast values or cast from one type to the other in Rust. 
um, some types can be cast and some types cannot be cast uh, because these are all integers and uh, you, know, you can cast from one to another and so this is how you cast you basically use the ask keyword and then you can cast yeah so that's basically it about arrays and um i guess that will be all for this video and in the next video we're going to talk about variables mutability and references so i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye